Oh my god, what happened to my hair? What happened to my hair? What have they done to me when I was asleep? Whatever you do, do not watch this movie called The Bunny Man, or actually just Bunny Man. It is a film about the Bunny Man legend. But if you watch it, you'll get Down Syndrome. That's how bad it is. Don't watch it. Don't. Don't. Did you hear me? Don't watch this movie. Don't. The Bunny Man is an urban legend that probably originated from two incidents in Fairfax County, Virginia, in 1970. It has been spread throughout the Washington DC area. The legend has many variations, most involve a man wearing a rabbit costume who attacks people with an axe or a hatchet. Oh my god, the, the description of the bunny man reminds me of my daddy when he was drunk and he would beat up the family again. Fairfax County Public Library historian, archivist Brian A. Conley extensively researched the bunny man legend. He has located two incidents of a man in a rabbit costume threatening people with an axe. The vandalism reports occurred a week apart in 1970 in Clifton, Virginia. The first incident was reported the evening of October 19, 1970 by US Air Force Academy cadet Bob Bennett and his fiancée who were visiting relatives on Guinea Road in Burke. Around midnight while returning from a football game they reportedly parked their car in a field on the road to visit an uncle who lived across the street from where the car was parked. As they sat in the front seat with the motor running, they noticed something moving outside the rear window. Moments later, the front passenger window was smashed and there was a white clad figure standing near the broken window. Bennett turned the car around while the man screamed at them about trespassing, including you're on private property and I have your tag number. As they drove down the road, the couple discovered a hatchet on the car floor. When the police requested a description of the man, Bob insisted he was wearing a white suit with long bunny ears. But his fiancée remembered something white and pointed like a KKK hood. They both remembered seeing his face clearly, but in the darkness they could not determine his race. The police returned the hatchet to Bennett after examination. He was required to report the incident upon his return to the Air Force Academy. The second reported sighting occurred on the evening of October 29, 1970, when construction security guard Paul Phillips approached a man standing on the porch of an unfinished home in Kings Park West on the same road. Phillips said the man was wearing a grey, black and white bunny costume and was about 20 years old. 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed about 175 pounds. The man began chopping at a porch post with a long handled axe, saying, All you people trespass around here, if you don't get out of here I'm going to bust you on the head. I don't know what would be worse, a man busting in your head with an axe or a man busting his nuts on your face, both don't seem appealing to me. The Fairfax County Police opened investigations into both incidents, but both were eventually closed for lack of evidence. In the weeks following the incidents, more than 50 people contacted the police claiming to have seen the Bunny Man. Several newspapers reported the incident of the Bunny Man eating a man's runaway cat, including the following articles in the Washington Post. Man in Bunny Costume Saw it in Fairfax on October 22, 1970. The Rabbit Reappears on October 31, 1970. Bunny Man Seen November 4. 1970. Bunny reports are multiplying. November 6, 1970. In 1973, University of Maryland College Park student Patricia Johnson submitted a research paper that chronicled precisely 54 variations on those two events. Pretty crazy indeed, because that's the question now. They call this an urban legend. But why would it be a legend if it's just a man in a bunny suit? It would be more interesting if the man or the bunny man was a biological mysterious creature that was half bunny and half man but since here they say that he wears a suit it's not much of a scary thing at all but i guess the legend itself might speculate as to this being half man half bunny i don't know that might be the case the legend has circulated for years in several forms 
A version naming a suspect and specific location was posted to a website in the late 1990s by Timothy C. Forbes. This version states that in 1904 an asylum prison in Clifton, Virginia was shut down by successful petition of the growing population of residents in Fairfax County. During the transfer of inmates to a new facility, one of the 15 transports crashed. Most, including the driver, were killed. Ten escaped. A search party found all but one of them. During this time, locals allegedly began to find hundreds of cleanly skinned, half-eaten carcasses of rabbits hanging from the trees in the surrounding areas. Another search of the road was ordered, and the police located the remains of Marcus Walster, left in a similar fashion to the rabbit carcasses hanging in a nearby tree or under a bridge overpass also known as the Bunny Man Bridge. Along the railroad tracks at Colchester Road, officials named the last missing inmate Douglas J. Griffin as their suspect and call him the Bunny Man. In this version, officials finally managed to locate Griffin but, during their attempt to apprehend him at the overpass, he nearly escapes before being hit by an oncoming train where the original transport crashed. They say after the train passed, the police heard laughter coming from the site. It is eventually revealed that Griffin was institutionalized for killing his family and children on Easter Sunday. For years after the bunny man's death, in the time approaching Halloween, carcasses are said to be found hanging from the overpass and surrounding areas. A figure is reportedly seen by passersby making their way through the one lane bridge tunnel. Conley says this version is false. Among other inconsistencies, Conley notes, there's never been an asylum for the insane in Fairfax County. That Lord and Prison didn't come into existence until 1910, and even then it was an arm of the District of Columbia Correction System, not Virginia's. Moreover, court records show neither a Griffin nor a Wallster. Cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman, via his blog, Cryptomundo and book Weird Virginia, in a section on the Bunny Man, wrote about a direct association between the legend of Bunny Man and that of the Goat Man of nearby Maryland. The Goat Man is also a sweet, sweet hot little legend. It's about a man looking like a half human, half goat. This is what Wikipedia even says about it. The Goat Man of Maryland refers to a legendary half goat, half human creature that has the hat and hindquarters of a goat and the body of a human. Wouldn't that turn you on? Oh, if I could find a feminine version of that, I'd marry it right away. But that's enough about the goat man because this video isn't about the goat man after all, about the bunny man. Now there's so many videos on YouTube about this already. It's such a famous urban legend. I know this is not an obscure thing or subject that I'm sharing through this video, but I thought it would be funny to have it on Creepy News as well. Because after all, it is always pretty interesting to read about these supposed urban legends. Not really knowing for sure whether it's true or not. The bridge itself, as you could see throughout the entire video, well, to me it doesn't look scary, but I can see though that the night picture, that one, the tunnel would probably be very dark if there's no light surrounding it. That's pretty creepy. I can see how people can maybe hallucinate almost. Stumble across a goat bunny man, you know, a combination, a bunny hat, a torso of a man, but the legs of a goat. And there we have it, I just created the Goat Bunny Man Urban Legend. If you have ideas for this legend, send them in and I can share them through a video and we have our own specific urban legend that got created on Creepy News, man. Don't send in any stories, unless it's good, then you're allowed to email me a story. Anyways, as always, dear viewer, have sweet dreams. But be careful, don't go into the tunnel at night, because the Bunny Man is waiting for your soul.